Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, in yesterday's video, we used a sock that I fell rod ignited to actually burn some dry oak wood. But that is a good technique to use with wet materials. Here's a piece of tulip poplar that has received four days of rain and it is soaking wet. All right, I want to dry the table off and then cut this wet exterior off the poplar before I saw it up. Corona razor tooth saw, about $25 at Home Depot. Let's go for five inch pieces. They will stack up nicely log cabin style in the hobo stove. <laughs> to give you an idea of how well saturated they are. That is some wet wood all right we're ready to stack it up That ought to be plenty high enough. And we got about 10 pieces left over. All right, we are ready to go. I think this is gonna be a two sock fire. So let's go ahead and stick one down in there. And go ahead and fail right ignite the other one. Right there at the hole in the heel, just like yesterday. Keychain ferro rod. This is 5 16 in diameter by 3 and an eighth long. We're ready to watch it burn.
got a lot of drying it has to do before it ever starts that wood to burning. All right, y'all, this is pretty much the intensity that is burned the entire time. Most of the heat that it generates goes towards drying the next fuel wood, which only leaves enough, enough heat to keep the process going. I don't think we'd have had even this much success if I had not cut off all that wet exterior. If I wanted a better fire, you know, when I turned it on its end grain and you could see all the saturation of wood, I would have needed to remove a lot more wet wood than what I did. But um, even though it's obvious that wet wood does not burn that well, I still wanted to examine it and watch it in action. So do me a favor now before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.